three point charges, positive Q, negative 3Q, and positive Q, are at three corners of a square of side D. Determine the magnitude and direction of the net electric field at point P, the fourth corner. There are three charges producing fields over here. The field produced by the positive Q goes out of the positive Q at point P, goes that way. And the field produced by that positive Q goes out of the positive Q, so it goes down this way. Because these two charges are equal amount and equal distance away, the two fields should be equal magnitude. These two should be equal amount. The third charge, negative 3Q, gives an electric field that goes into the negative charge. So this goes that way. It may not be obvious to you whether this electric field has a larger or smaller magnitude compared to those two electric fields. Because uh, this charge has a larger magnitude, 3Q, but it is also farther away. To find the net electric field, we have to add those three fields together by adding vectors. In this particular problem, we happen to have symmetry along this diagonal. It is symmetric on the two sides. So we know that the net field must be along this direction. So it can be convenient for us to add two of the vectors first and then add the third one. Which two should we add first? If we add these two vectors first, we will get a vector sum in this direction. We can then conveniently add the third electric field to the sum because they will be along the same straight line. To add these two vectors together, we have to first make a parallelogram, which in this particular case happens to be a square. And the diagonal is the sum. Now let's find the magnitude. The magnitude of this electric field is E equals to KQ over R squared. This field is produced by 1Q, so it's 1Q. The distance to the charge is D, so this is D squared over here. Because we do not have numbers to plug in for Q and D, we will just leave K as K. Do not plug in 9 times 10 to the 9th. The magnitude of the sum is the diagonal of the square. For a square, we know that if the side of the square is 1, then the diagonal of the square would be square root of 2. So to find the diagonal, all we have to do is to multiply that by square root of 2. To multiply the side by square root of 2, and we get the diagonal. Now let's find this third electric field. That is produced by the negative 3Q. So this field is K. The charge is 3Q. I'm not going to plug in the sign. Divided by the distance squared. Now this is also a square. Each side of the square is D. So the diagonal would be the side times square root of 2. So the distance over here is square root of 2 times D. And that means uh, we get the 3 halves kq over d squared. So here we have square root 2 times kq over d squared. This one is 3 halves kq over d squared. And they are in opposite directions. So when we add these two vectors, we have to subtract the magnitude. And if we compare 3 halves to square root 2, we know that 3 halves is bigger than square root 2. So I'm just going to use the bigger side minus the smaller side. So the net electric field will have a magnitude that's the bigger side minus the smaller side. And I'm factoring out the kq over d squared. Since uh, the field going that way towards the center of the square, has a larger magnitude, the net electric field goes same direction towards the center of the square. 
And uh, if you wish to, you can simplify this to 0.086 times kq over d squared. Although that is not necessary, it's perfectly fine for you to leave your answer in this format. Just in case if you see a square problem that does not give you symmetry along the diagonal, let's take a look at this scenario. In this case, the square still has a each side D, and the three charges are negative 3Q, positive Q, positive Q. They just arranged differently, and you're looking for the electric field over here. So in this case, there is no symmetry along the diagonal. If we look at the electric field, the field produced by the positive Q would be out of the positive Q. The field produced by the negative 3Q would go into the negative 3Q. And because that's three times the charge equal distance away, this electric field will be three times this amount. And that charge gives us a electric field out of the positive charge. Now this field is going to be weaker than that one because it's the same amount of charge but a farther distance away. So we got three vector fields to add. In this kind of situation, it's probably the easiest for us to find the components of this slanted electric field. And then we can take care of the electric field by components. So I would have to break this electric field into two components, this one and the one going down. And then I'll be able to combine these two and then go this minus that, combine these two together and find the net field in each direction. And then we will end with a electric field x component, let's say it's ex, and then a y component. And then we can add those two together to get the total electric field.